That's true. She might actually like that. She enjoys meeting, um, you know, members of the community and stuff. So. There you go. What? How do you wake up an AFK ship? You drop bombs on them. Depth charges. You're in a game with eight crews each time, and you're the only battleship in your team. What? <laughs> on each side. Okay. Well, that's pretty nice. Okay. Checking a couple of things. Yagi just leaves the battle after the depth charge. Okay. Let's take a look at your initial... Ah, well, okay, so there's only one destroyer in the game. So... Wow. Okay. There's uh, some, some very positive things in chat there. Jeez. Talk about new players and not knowing the game and mechanics. Doesn't even know it's a depth charge and doesn't do anything. And I mean, once upon a time, um, there was team damage, right? So people would do that kind of stupid stuff. But anyways, um, what I was trying to say, there's only one destroyer on each team. So generally when that happens, you absolutely want to uh, support that destroyer. Um, now, you could have actually gone towards sea cap and played the kiting away game it's only a nicholas so you don't have to worry about stealth torping you know stuff like that right um but instead you're gonna keep going this way which is fine you don't like how you're also well that's kind of what i was mentioning right it is if you were on the other side of the map I mean, you could have taken advantage of uh, that Emil Bertin that just YOLO'd into, you know, CCAP, for example. Um, you'd also have shots on the Nicholas from the other side, uh, you know, from the other side of the island or whatever. But instead, you're kind of putting yourself out here to just get shot at. So I don't really know that I like this decision. I think I would have rather seen you go golf seven, kiting away position, get shot at a bit, you know, beat the crap out of out of stuff and whatever. But well, I mean, here's the thing about this decision: you're the closest thing, so you're gonna get focus fired because you're the closest ship. And if you were kiting from sea, you'd still be pretty well angled while mm -hmm. still being focus fired. Like you haven't yep. done anything to elude the being focus fired. Right. Exactly. Um, although Congo is now getting kind of close. I don't know what the Congo's thinking, just going... Oh, you got Brisk. Well, yeah, so, I mean, here's the thing. If, you, if you're caught by yourself in the open, you know, let's say, let's say you went to your initial position. I was talking about Golf 7, right? Uh, as soon as you see that Emilia, you could, you could have whacked him. And when you saw these other battleships that were coming, um, you had the opportunity to just hit W and, and just kite away. And what you do is you use the islands here to block angles, firing angles on you. Uh, you can even go all the way down to this bottom one down here. Um, and what that does is it forces the enemy team to decide to go for you or to decide to go for, you know, their the other group right the majority group if they go for you that majority group might be able to you know open up um broadsides on on them and and you know and, and wreck them um if they don't go for you and they stay on the main body well then you can wreck 
the broadsides. Like right now, Peter, see, if you were here, you'd have a nice broadside on the Peter Philip, right? You would have had a good shot on the Tiger um, earlier. Now you've got a good one on him because of where he's sitting. Yeah, people don't angle. We, I think that's been the theme of, of the replays today. Is people don't angle. <laughs> it's crazy. Insta DCP, one fire. Now, because of your position, you can see what happened already. Uh, the Emil Breton was able just to kite, uh, just to push right through, and he's going to get on your backside, which is not good since you just DCP'd that one fire. He's also, I think, in torpedo range. Right? I can't remember what the range of torps are for tier 5 French. Angling is for noobs. Simboto, that's why I love this game too. And look at that. One Savo, one fire. Now, do you waste another DCP charge or hold them? Because remember, uh, the Octo Rev and Russian Battleship Line uh, all has. A finite number of damage control parties. Should have waited on heal because you're actually going to take more damage now. Nice. Waited on. Yeah. Well, he's he's choosing to heal through the fire, and that makes sense. But like he's he's while you're trying to heal through the fire, you're actually going to take more damage through the fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, I can't remember what replay I sent in. I think it was a tier 7 ranked on this. And, like, going to Kite C, uh, in my opinion, would have been a better choice because mm -hmm. the, the, the southern team always goes to A, the northern team always goes to C. Like, it, it doesn't matter what tier, this is just what people do. Right? Oh, yeah. And there you go again with another quick DCP. Are you using uh, Kuznetsov on the ship? You can use it more because it's quick reloading, but the, but the problem with that is if the battle goes long, uh, you'll need it the most. And it's not there, and then you'll just have full, full tick uh, damage. You don't have Kuznetsov. That's for Oh, hello. Ah, oh, you're gonna shoot anyway, right? Yes. At this point, well. I think he wasn't expecting to see you there, which is weird because you've been spotted this whole time. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to comment on was you wait until he starts shooting you and then you know where he's at. Or maybe he's just going to try to torp you? I mean, either way, that, that was really bad damage there. <laughs> Ouch. But hey, look, another broadside ship. Sure, why not? Uh, I would keep turning the guns and, and try to work down that tiger. Um, so, in other words, turn your ship, turn your ship so your bow is facing the uh, the destroyer smoke. Turn your guns the opposite way. Dispatch the tiger. Now you only have a threat coming from one area, right, directly in front of you. It makes it a lot easier for you to, uh, you know, angle, dodge, whatever you need to do. And Kuznetsov is perfect for this ship because you get the heal if you have really low and you get the auto DCP. So if you end up losing all your DCPs, you get one reserve DCP, essentially. We got the Genova with big containers and EU. Oof. And, nope. 
That's okay. Someone else will kill him. And fortunately for you, the Congo... Mojo Balls. <laughs> Love that name. <laughs> silly. Anyway, uh, fortunately for you, the Congo decided he wanted to be shot at instead of you. So, he just went in. Very nice of him. And there you go. Plus one. I was just going to mention you should definitely compliment him. Very big Chad. <laughs> and now you're going to play Ring Around the Island because the Koenig's going to just run. There he goes. All right, let's take a look at the render. Here it goes. Now, while this is going, I'm just going to pause for a sec. While this is going, Desta, I want you to visibly, in your mind, imagine yourself at Golf 7, maybe turning out and, and hooking south or something along those lines, um, and just look at look at what you could possibly shoot at from Golf 7. Don't watch yourself, just watch Golf 7. All right? So let's say you go here, kiting south position, angled south. So you've got just the channel here you can shoot through. You could shoot the Peter Vickley, but you probably don't want to unless you're spotted already because uh, you don't want to give away your position. But look, that Emil probably would have been in, in vision range. If not, hey, look, you hit W right now, and you come out, and look, you've got a broadside on the meal, right? You got a something that is going to... Here it is, broadside now in the Tiger from that spot, right? Broadside in the Koenig from that spot. You had enough time to position and angle at golf seven. Yes, exactly. You had plenty of time to get there and 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 do what you needed to do. I mean, he still ended up winning. I just think he would have had a more decisive impact in the in this particular battle um, if he'd done that. You certainly would have prevented the Emil from running south like he did. But yeah, if he came out like that while he was broadside, stopped in the channel, you could have just blapped him right there. Turned your attention to these guys. Um, if there was a kamikaze or something like that on the enemy team i'd be less inclined to go off by myself and do that but it's a nicholas you know what i mean you're not you're not afraid of nicholas torping you or whatever so terrorist no problem thank you for uh supporting the channel hanging out yank Yeager, three big containers were xp Oh my god, you got the Weimar and the Ashitaka? Dude. That's crazy. That's awesome. Inno Zone 83, thanks for the follow. And you're welcome, Desta. Uh, do you have any other questions? Anything else I could help you on? Or I mean, I think we covered pretty much everything you need off that one. 